Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, where last time we were doing odd jobs for the Confederacy to give them a helping hand and give myself some more power before we deal with the Kojin. But first, we need to finish helping out uh, Sukikage and deal with his uh, trading agreement with the... Uh, uh, with uh, Lord, 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 Lord Lolorito's company. So, let's get to it. Earrings. Ah, oh, Ravenous, how lucky I am to have caught you. I would have liked to open negotiations with Mr. Uh, Kibiko, but members of the Confederation are not exactly welcomed in Kugane. You, however, are not subject to the same, restraint, re some same constraints as us, and I would ask you to deliver a, a letter to her on my behalf. If you kindly accompany me to our guard room, uh, just atop these stairs, I can give it to you right now. In the meantime, I'll go take care of our honest merchant friends. Ravenous, I, uh, I hope you work your, your usual magic and bring us back some more good news. Oh yeah, I think that shouldn't be a problem. Because they want to buy the stuff, you want to sell the stuff. So should all be good. Alright. Up the stairs. Up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. There you go. Enclosed in this envelope is a paper that outlines all of our conditions and preferences. Alright. If there is anything anything Mistress Kimiko would like to amend or add, assure that, that the Confederacy is open to negotiations. Alright. Let's uh, travel back. Okay, that's... There we go. Back to Kugane. Alright. There's going to be a lot of teleporting back and forth on this one, I think. <coughs> Seeing as I'm the only one who can, like, go to both places. Uh, after this, we should be dealing with the Kojin. And I am under the assumption we're going to be diving here pretty soon. So, Ethernet and Pier 1. Again, because of the, the, the main story quest name. Alright. Master Kurohi, you have returned. What brings you back so soon? Here's the letter. Ah, oh, yes, let me have a look. Ha ha ha, this is a deal I can hardly say no to. Tell Master Yusuke Kage that we fully agree to the conditions outlined in this letter. Assuming he is willing, I would like to. I would also like to ask him to ob obtain certain items for us besides those listed here. We would, of course, compensate him accordingly. There are a plethora of luxury goods that can only be... Oh, sorry, my everything shifted as I'm shifting. There are a plethora of luxury goods that can only be attained in the Ruby Sea. Since the Imperials have begun placing their embargoes, a lot of these things have become difficult to acquire. Here, I prepared a contract for Ma Master Sukikage to review and sign. Please see, please see that it makes it to him. As always, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Alright, so is my return back between, from between episodes? It sure is! Yeah, I used the between episodes to stretch and everything, so... Enough time has passed since the last time we returned in the last episode. Alright. Yeah, let's get back up there. Of course, if I have to make another trip real soon in this episode, I may have to actually teleport and pay a fee. Alright. Ravenous, I'm glad to see you, you are returned. How did the meeting go? A meeting with Mrs. Kamiko go? Here is her letter. Here's the contract. According to this contract, she has agreed to all of our terms regarding the loot and even offered us an opportunity to earn extra coin. This, my friend, is what I call a job well done. Now let's see. Uh, on the side, she would have us procure the shell of a, uh, of a decade-old turtle, teardrop pearls, and soaring, soaring shark fins. 
Huh. All of those are expensive commodities that cannot be obtained in Kugane. Or anywhere el anywhere outside the, the outside the Ruby Sea, for that matter. Ha ha ha! Mistress Kamiko certainly knows how to play your cards. Chief, I'll go and get, go and get them for you. A very generous offer, uh, Hasaku. But sending you to search for everything alone will take far too much time. Let us divide the work. You can retrieve the soaring shark fins. I will find the turtle shell, and Suzume, you secure the teardrop pearls. Understood. I shall make a. I shall make for Shoal Rock right away. Ah, uh, there he goes again. He ran off without even bothering to confirm how many fins uh, we would have him bring back. The man is completely incompetent. There's no need to be so hard on him, Suzume. While perhaps a touch overzealous, he is simply looking to provide his worth to us, prove his worth, worth to us. It is only natural, seeing he has narrowly escaped death at the hands of his former shipmates. Each and every one of us here comes from a similar, dif similarly difficult past. I do not see why we should treat him any different. An interesting no notion has just struck me. May have the reason our dear Hansaku is so enthusiastic about procuring, uh, procuring items is because he simply is because he is attempting to avoid something, or rather, someone. But you mean to imply that the fake merchants were members of his former crew? Indeed. He's been rather skittish of late, and it would explain why he did not uh, escort Ravenous to us when they, when they first met. Coming face to face with your former crew under the best circumstances can be trying. When you hold a blade to their throat and force them to pay tithe, well, you become a you become a marked man for life. So, Han Hansaku was once shipmates of those those low lives. Suzume, what's wrong? You're starting to turn pale. N nothing, nothing is wrong, sir. I'm simply disgusted that one of our very own, however insignificant to our organization they might be, has had dealings with such vulgar men. I. I must be going now if I'm to gather our teardrop pearls. Huh. I wonder what has gotten into Suzume. Whatever Hansaku's past, he's a confederate now. Besides, we, we tied stones around his as crewmates necks and threw them into the sea. I see no reason for her to be upset. Huh. I suppose that is a mystery best solved later. Ravenous, please do me a favor and go check on Hansaku for me, will you? The boy's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, but has a tendency to land himself in trouble. I think Featherfoot senses the danger and took off too. Oh god damn it, why does it have to be all the way over there? Doesn't he know some of them are over here? I fought some over here. Why do you have to go over there? Hudsaku, you're a bunch of trouble. Yeah, jerk. All right, off we go. Cut through here. Uh. Avoid the sheer Dewey. Because we learned to avoid sheer Dewey. They make you crazy. You would also make me crazy. Go to the other side of this goddamn island again. Maybe I'm a bit overzealous when it comes to my hate of going to that certain that part of the location, that part of the island again. I went there on my own. I went there as I went around to fight snakes. I went back to test that guard. Then we went back again. Ugh. All right. Hansuki, what do you do? Uh, Featherfoot, come on out. Uh, might need you for this. Or at least you'd be helpful. Hey, another shark. How about that? Let's get right to it. As I say, as I'm already fighting it. My timing's pretty bad. That's okay, though. We'll have this done in no time. Alright, tornado kick. 
Alright. You okay now? Ravenous, thank the Kami you came when you did. I, I was about to be fish food. So the chief saves me from certain death yet again. Uh, somehow I always manage to bundle up every job I'm given. What a complete and utter fool I am. Well, I suppose all that matters in the end is that we obtain the fins. I shall return to headquarters and inform the others. I'll meet you back there. I'm going to teleport. I know it's like j not too far, but you know what? Screw it. I'm running around this island again. Ugh. Ugh. All right. We made it back. All right. You got all your stuff. I do not see why the chief keeps them around. Hanseko is completely useless. Even you must realize it too. Only for going to that side of the island. I don't care otherwise. I was the only one to come back empty-handed, and it certainly was, has not left a good impression on the chief, much less Suzume. Hurry, deliver the fins to them, please. I cannot stand to their disappointed stares for a moment longer. I'm glad you make it back. Hansaku told us everything. Thank you, Ravenous. It seems that my fears were warranted. There you go. These fins, they're all in near perfect condition. They will no doubt surpass even Mistress Kikimiko, Kikimi, Kikimo's high expectations. Now that we have everything, let's deliver the goods to our client without any further ado. I shall prepare one of our ships and begin stocking it then. Very good, Susume. Although she tries hard to hide it, Susume is far less cheerful than usual. Is she alright, I wonder? She, she is probably exhausted from her search for the pearls. Chief, if members of the Confederate are, are barred from entering the port city, how exactly are we supposed to meet our client? I don't think he's thought of that. Earrings! Healing! Alright. And we get belts! Prepare! Still not as good. While it's true we are banned from setting foot, foot in Kugane, there is no, su no such law prohibiting Mrs. Mrs. Kikimo from coming to us. Therefore, we shall uh, we shall be meeting with her at uh, uh, Saka Sakazuki. Ugh. Man, I haven't seen that. When, it's like, as soon as it's away from me for a little bit, I forget how to pronounce it. Hensaku, I would like you to you to accompany Suzume and, and assist her in transporting our goods there. You are then to unload them and bring them to our to the to our rendezvous point. Understood? You got it, Chief. Ravenous, this will be my first time meeting Mistress Mistress Kikimo. I would like you to have you to accompany me. I shall be counting on you to introduce us. Wait, that means I have to go all the way over there. There is no flight point. Uh, I'm not going to swim it, so... Teleport Kugane. The fastest thing for me to do. There, Aetherite out back into Ruby Sea. Swim over. Yeah. For you guys, it's swim over. So, according to the map, I don't know. All right, eighth right, Ruby Price. There we go. I'm on the other side of the zone now. All right then. Boop. Swimsuit. Alright. Let's get to swimming. 
because I can't fly yet. Nor can I use uh, my mounts in the water. I would like to. What if a uh, mount guide has says anything about water? Said use the mana cutter. That'd be pretty sweet to use that on the open seas. I'd like that. Anyway, looks like we're here. All right. Saku? My, ref my respect for Suzume uh, grows by the day. Never I have I seen anyone load and unload cargo so swiftly. Excuse me, Ravenous, but I'm not feeling well. Uh, I do not think I can talk right now. She's sick? This must be Mistress, this must be Mistress Kikimo. Well, you'll be be introducing us, or I or must I or must I do do it myself? Yeah. Mas Master Ravenous, how delightful it is to see you again. I presume that this man here is none other than our new business associate, Master Tsukikage. Yep, sure is. Mistress Kikimo, it is a pleasure to finally meet you. Before we turn everything over to you, please first allow me to present you with these. A decade-old turtle shell, teardrop pearls, and soaring shark fins? I did not think you'd be able to procure these things in such, in, on such short notice. Added to that, each and every one of these items is in pristine condition. For your exceptional service, I'm inclined to give you a bonus. Thank you. As for the rest of the goods, we can turn those over to you at your earliest convenience. There is quite a lot, so I imagine you will need a merchant vessel to transport them back. I assume, however, sailing such a large ship in this area might attract some attention of the Baf uh, Bakufa. Bak Bakufu, sorry. Yes, uh, th uh, and were they to catch us dealing with, with members of the Confederation, the consequences would be dire. Then let us complete this transaction on the northern side of the island. Once you return with a larger ship, we can load everything up there. Uh, out of reach of prying eyes of the Hingan soldiers at the Ruby Price. An excellent idea. I shall return to Kagane and have a mercantile ship prepare for a departure. Master Tsukikage, I will, I will be leaving you here. Uh, uh, Master Tsukikage, I'll be leaving you here. Till we meet again at uh, Sak Sakazuki's northern tip. Good, good. Deal is done. There's one other matter we must attend before Mistress Kikimo returns with her ship. While hidden from prying eyes, the northern reaches are infested with beasts. They must be slain. Leave it to me, Chief. I'll make sure the area is cleared of any dangers. Very good. Susume, would you please accompany Hansaku? Susume? Susume, are you listening to me? Please go with Hansaku and secure the northern area of the island. Uh, yes, sir. But before that, please allow me to take a short rest at the guard room. The injuries I sustained while diving for pearls have taken quite a toll on me. I did not realize you were injured. Yes, take a short rest then. I have already sent word ahead to the guard room requesting, uh, requesting those there to lend us their assistance. Upon your arrival, tell them that they are to meet us at the, at the training spot. Yes, sir. I'll be sure to do that. There's need, no need for that, Chief. I can take care of everything on my own. I know. Go with him. I cannot put my finger on it, but something's off. Something about Susume is off. The dark, angry look she she has when she thinks no one is looking. It reminds me of the expression she she wore when she first joined the Confederacy. It was right after she lost her parents to a raid upon her small fishing village. She was one of the few that survived. I remember so clearly how broken she was. Uh, well, whatever it is, we'll have to wait until our delivery is complete. Now let's go to the pier. We must see that see that the goods are safely transported. Man, this is going to be going to longer side quests. Side quest chains. Because we still have this to do. We still have to figure out what's up with uh, Susume. Alright. We are missing some of our goods? 
Thank you for reforming me. I shall take things from here. Huh? Ravenous, impeccable timing as always. When men just finished their final round of checks, they discovered that, that our most valuable item, the Crimson Shell Ring, has gone missing. We must track down the thief immediately. Please go get Susume. She should be at the guard rooms and will come out if you call her at, if you call out to her. Yep, say her name when I'm uh, over there. I've done that before. But before I do that, I need to do this. No, I'm not going to punch the Oni Yumeki. Uh, Oni Yumei. Yumeki. So, go up here. I guess to get stuck on stairs. Now, I wonder if she found the ring in the cargo. And the ring has something to do with her past. In which case, she's wondering if Hinzaku was there during the raid on her own. That would be my guess. So, say Suzume. You're looking for Suzume, I take it. Well, you have no luck finding her here. She has long gone, long gone to help clear the air, the meeting area of beasts. Originally, I was to go with Hensaku. But she insisted on taking my place. When Suzume left wearing a pearl ring, it became immediately obvious what was going on. She and Hanzaku are going to have an affair. <laughs> no, she's going to kill him. I, I simply cannot wait for them to return. I won't let them hear the end of it. No, I think my theory is completely correct, and she might try to kill him. Which is why I'm taking a shortcut. Sure enough, she found the ring. She's been hard on Insaku, especially finding out he was part of those merchants. Yeah. She wants to get revenge for her family. And Hinsaku is part of that. That tells me what I need to know. Well, this goes farther north than I thought. Oh no, it's just the direction. Oh wait, that's under the sea. Where am I going? Whoops. Here. I was going the wrong place. I saw the, the orange triangle, or the orange arrow. I'm like, okay, it must be up here. Because she was supposed to, she was going to the north end. But no, I guess I have to tell... If I read the, uh, if I would have read the quest, uh, instructions, it says to report to Tsukikage. Whoops. I'm just in such a hurry because I know she's going to try to kill him. See, this is one of the reasons I do these side, side quests, because sometimes they have intriguing stories. So, but this also tells me that we are, we probably have one more quest after turning this in, where we're going to deal with all of it, and then everything will be settled somehow. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have to report back in, I was just going to settle it myself. Uh, she has left to have a tryst with Hensaku. Well, she had a ring. Or at least that, that was the conclusion of one of our comrades came to because she was wearing a crimson shell ring when she left. Didn't think about this story sits right with me. Suzume has off, uh, often openly scorned Hensaku. Added to that, I cannot bring myself to believe she would steal from us. Even if she did, she's not foolish enough to flaunt her loot. Someone must have, have made a mistake while reviewing the inventory list. Yes, that's it. I shall survey everything once more, and that will clear up this whole misunderstanding. Hold it. It says here that alleged that that the allegedly stolen item is a uh, Kaisuri ring. Ah, the piece of the puzzle have fall finally fallen into place. It's from her village. Grosseri's name is uh, Kaisuri is Suzume's last name. 
Her parents made shell jewelry for a living. All of their works bear their signature, including the crimson shell ring. One of the thugs we apprehended earlier was wearing this. That means there, there's a chance he had a hand in the raid that took her parents' lives and might even be personally responsible for their deaths. This bodes ill. Hitsaku, he was once part of their crew, which means, Damn it, Suzume, do not tell me you would fool, be foolish enough to attempt to get revenge. Called it! Fending bolt. Alright, and you are the only side quest right now? Okay. What a terrible mess. If, as I suspect, Suzume has gone to exact revenge on Hosaku, she is likely making her way to him as we speak. The Confederation is made up of a diverse group of people, and all of us take a vow upon joining to leave our past behind us. If she were to harm a fellow member, regardless of the circumstances, she would be branded an enemy. She knows this, yet it seems fury has taken a hold of her heart and clouded her judgment. We must act quickly and put an end to this nonsense. Uh, were it not that they needed a captain to transport the goods, I would go and stop them at her myself. As it stands, however, I must ask you to intervene on my behalf. Please, hurry to them and see that no harm comes to either Susume or Hensaku. I was going to do that, but the quest brought me back to you. So you could tell me stuff I had already deduced. Ugh. Oh, they're right over there. Hey, do that. So go around. Man, this entire this entire episode has been this one quest line. It's a good quest line, give you that. All right, Sume, I I don't know. Truly, I'm sorry for what they did to you and your village. I. Ravenous, stay where you are. If you attempt to stop me, I will put an arrow through you as easily as this vile man. Let's see, to hurt another member that's going to be treason against the Confederation, the past of the past, you are both covered in the Confederation now. Uh, let's see, to hurt another member is, uh, to hurt another member is to commit treason against the Confederation. Yeah, committing treason, yo. Treason or not, I must avenge my parents' death. Because of them, never again will I hear my father's gruff voice or feel the gentle touch of my mother's hand. Unless I kill off those responsible, I will never find peace. Nor will I... You fool! But you couldn't leave. Uh, the men and women here, we are your family now. To lay a hand on your brother and sisters is to re relinquish your life. Are you ready to pay that price? I would not be here if I was not. Very well. Then I will not stop you. However, you are to settle your accounts with Hazaku only after our transaction with Mistress Kikimo is complete. The Confederation's entire future depends on the success of this trade. I will not have you ruining it for us. Very well, sir. For, for the kindness you and the other pirates have shown me, I shall uh, comply with your request. Good. Then the two of you are to go and secure the, this perimeter. Now. Yes, sir. Remember, Suzume, I will not have you going back on your word. You are not to touch Hitsaku until everything is done. I know. It seems you it seems you made it here just in time to prevent what could have well been a catastrophe. Thank you, Ravenous. Now I must return to the boats and check upon the cargo. Might you remain here and help clear the area? And while you're at it, please keep an eye on Susume and make sure she doesn't slip out of line. Alright. Alright, survey the area. Now I go up here.
survey the area. There it is. <clears throat> you spy no dangerous creatures in the area. You best go. You best now go and check upon Suzume. All right. Pass the flying shark, all the bomb fish. All right. Oh, no, I guess these ones are mine. They, they went for Suzume, so I put myself between her and them. My injuries aren't as serious, but it'll take me a while to regain my strength. As soon as I was attacked, Hitsaku came running to my rescue. We are both too injured to move, but these monsters are no doubt... But these monsters are no doubt still lurking nearby. There you are. I'm going to move these guys over here a bit. There we go. That way I'm not pulling anybody else into my fight. Don't pull people into my other people's fights. And there we go. See, that's how you do it. Tornado kick. I didn't quite finish it off. That's okay. That did. Alright, Susan May rescued. I did it. Now he's proven himself. She'll forgive him. He'll say he wasn't part of the attack. Joined them later. Thank you, Ravenous, for saving us. That's what I do. I was so blinded by rage that I didn't notice that when the beast crept up behind me, his Haku did not come when he did, I, I would be dead. I suppose in saving me, you sought to earn part, earn part for your crimes? It was not to gain your forgiveness that I threw myself at them. I was acting purely on instinct. Huh, I can believe that. You, you never were one to think before you act. Stop smiling. That wasn't a compliment. Yeah, you are, a, uh, you are a fool to the very end. Who goes out of their way to save the one person trying to kill them? Uh, perhaps, however, uh, the bigger fool of, of the two of us is me. Were you constantly, were you constantly look, look to the future? I desperately cling to the past. My parents, they would not have wanted this. At long last, the Veil of Anger has lifted, and you see reason. Suzume, is there anything else you want to say to Hansaku? Hansaku, I... I am sorry. I was a prisoner to my own painful past, but through your actions you have set me free. Uh, I have done you harm. Should you wish me to leave the Confederacy, I shall do so. Leave? I would never ask of that of you. Suzume, this is your home, and we, your family. You belong here with us. Th thank you. Sir, I know I disappointed you, but please, give me a second chance. Let me stay here with you in the Confederacy. It was never my plan to expel you. All families have their problems, and we are no different. What is, what is most important is that we learn from our mistakes and do not repeat them. Yes, sir. Uh, pardon me, Chief, but isn't Mistress Ki uh, Kikimo s are set to arrive soon? Won't our deal fall through if we don't go to meet her? Some things are more important than money. Business deals can be replaced, but I am afraid the two of you cannot. I hope that does not mean you intend to re renege on our deal. There she is. All the goods I've come to collect were at the location we agreed to, re to meet at, but you were not. 
Your companions guarding the items said they were given strict orders not to hand over anything until you gave the word. Now I find you here, all covered in blood and slime. What is going on? My sincerest apologi apologies, Mistress Kikimo. We were forced to divert our attentions temporarily to deal with a, sec a security breach of sorts. It has been resolved. By the, looks of you, by the looks of it, you have gone to great lengths to ensure my safety upon arriving at the island. Time and time again, you impress me with your resolve to provide the best of service to your customers. I must say, the future between our, your organization and ours is bright. That said, please let us return and begin uh, loading the goods. I would prefer to make it back to Kugane before sunrise. Yes, madam. We'll get on it straight away. Come ahead, Saku. Ravenous, your help has been indispensable. Not only have you saved two of my two subordinates, but the Confederacy as well. I must go and oversee the remainder of this transaction. But I ask you come and find me later and, uh, on... See, again, I forget. I'm like... Uh, it's like every time I switch islands, I forget how to... Onok... Uh, Onokoro. Onokoro. There we go. Alright, that deal is done. The quest is back up here, so let us return to Ankaro. Alright. And so now we can finish up this story. Thank you for coming all this way. You'll be pleased to hear that everything went smoothly after you left. Suzume and Hotsaku were quick to load the ship. It was almost as though nothing had ever happened between them. Y you, of course, are the one we are who we have to th have to thank for that. We are greatly indebted to you for all you've done for us. While you may not be an official member of the Confederacy, we have come to think of you as family. I hope you will come back and visit us whenever you can. And remember. Should you ever wish to officially join our ranks, we'd be more than happy to welcome you. Healing belt. Alright. That story is done. It was really long. I mean, we started it last episode, and it took this entire episode, and to the point where I had to uh, crash and other things I had to edit out because things weren't going as smoothly as I would have hoped. But we are out of time for this episode. So in the next, we are back to the main story and we are going after the Kojin. So if you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Later.